So what is the principle behind it? Donnelly, correct Donnelly. The rule is done as equitably and the principle is to minimize contamination in the clean room on our garments on the product. And that principle is what we want to keep in mind when we have a look at different techniques. It starts already when we when we open the pack to try to minimize any contamination, which might mean to wear gloves when dining and to for example disinfect gloves after we open the pack because there will be some heat for the pack but the outside might become in. So that would be an important step where we disinfect our products. While taking it out of the packaging, we have different garments. Some are prepared in a special way, some are not, which is the bigger challenge then. We try to touch them only on the inside. We try to avoid touching our undergarments or any furniture or the floor. And then we have the first challenge that you if that's uh, large, it's very long and it's closed. So we try to open the zipper without contact on the rest of the overall. And this is again one technique, which is not the perfect technique. I take the overall on the inside here, right now, right leg, right leg. So I get inside the overall, collect the material. Take care that the outside doesn't turn inside. Grab the left leg. We also call it overall origami. Grab the left arm and collect all the material here. Take it in my left hand and grab the right sleeve. And then I'm completely confused. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the advantage? Um, it's quite compact. Um, and I'm only touching it on the inside. Now this is a critical step for the aseptic downing um, to protect my, my thumbs from contaminating it with my, with my um, food when I step into the overall. I did some uh, yoga this morning to put the exit off and then step on and then to continue with the sleeves, I concentrate on one side after the other to always take control of what I'm doing, of what happens. And you see, don't wear ties as on the ground. <laughs> this is a critical part of the technique. It's hard to take control of the second side because it tends to turn inside. To close the zip, we need a second hand because we need some tension. But there is a simple, simple trick um, to just cross your legs and then stretch, and you have some tension to closing without holding against that zip. Then, with a the mirror, you can close the button and have a look if everything is covered in this. It's not my preferred technique, but I think it's the most confusing technique. How about the degowning? How about the degowning? How about the degowning? That's also a question we had already. Yeah. Um, depending on, I mean, in the aseptic area, probably you will take a sterilized new overall. But anyway, it's also maybe in some, some productions a matter of avoiding contaminating myself from product. So again, the same thing so as the client. I try not to touch the outside and try not to touch the floor and um, my undergarments. So I could open the overall, remove the first pair of gloves, then open, open the overall, and I try to take the overall only at the end of the sleeve and take control of what happens with the rest of the overall. Get it um, on the inside of the overall here. 
And again, I have control of what happens with my legs and with my sleeves. Pretty much, if we're gonna use the same uh, suit, yeah, do we need to hang it or do we need to put that in the basket in a certain manner? If you re re reuse it? Yeah, because we reuse the same, even though it's a sterilized one, okay. we reuse the same uh, suit. Okay. So do we need to hang it or do we need to put them in the basket? What the fuck? Mostly it? it's it's hung on a on a on a hook, on a okay. um, bar. But even there it's it's it has an advantage if the bar is fixed there because yeah. otherwise you take it from there and you you fix it here and you wipe the floor. Okay. So if the bar is fixed you can you cannot touch the floor, you just just put it there. Okay. If you, if you are, I mean if you're First arm to the collar and continue rolling. Same with the second sleeve. And I, of course, me, there are gloves for that technique because indirectly I'm touching the outside of the overall. I roll it like this until I reach the head of the, the belt. And I take the, it's holding it, I take the it's like that. I take the leg, put it here, take the second leg, here, and can take better control of, of what happens with my sleeves, especially which are more critical than the legs which are tucked into the boots. And, and the broader I'm taking that, the lower I can get to get into with my feet. It's quite a comfortable solution. And I'm protecting the cover quite well because this is the inside of the overall. Then, bit by bit, it's unfolding, and I can really take control of what happens with the collar, which is a critical area once I enter between them. The thing on the yellow, I have a have a mirror where I can keep control of what is in the gang closing it. But crossing the legs. So it's up to you which technique you want to apply now. We prepared some overall outside, where we have a bit more space and better air to breathe. Um, and then maybe smaller groups and mm -hmm. um, evaluate the best practice for a set of guns. Okay.